Mother, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Look what I got this week. Literally as soon as the kettlebells arrived, I had to just go and do a workout with them. So this is what the next clip is. It's just me learning how to clean with them and then do like a back upper workout kind of thing. And eight kg is now a heavy weight for me. I struggled. official it's all official so the news the exciting part of the vlog my belly just run with it. i don't know if you heard that basically i have now enrolled i'm officially enrolled on the level three personal training course with lifetime training and this week it all came through it's all official and i'm officially on the course like i'm studying to be a level three personal trainer and it means a lot for me and it also means a lot for the channel because it's just exciting about like I can just start learning more things about fitness and I can start sharing it on here and I can just start making this community kind of thing that I've wanted to create so so yeah that's the big news that's what I was talking about a few weeks ago and I'm just excited it's just really exciting it's quite nerve-wracking I'm terrible at like exams I'm terrible at revising but it's it's a good thing. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about it. I also wanted to mention the fact that personal training courses are ridiculously expensive. And the fact that I now have no income, it meant that I wasn't able to do it. Like I didn't know when I was able to do it. But I realised, well, Jack realised that you can do it through an advanced learner loan. And basically what that means, it's like a student loan and you don't have to pay it back until you, work, until you start earning a certain amount when you qualified. So right now it's not costing me anything. It will eventually, but it meant that I could just sign on on the course and get it done and then start paying it back when I earn like, I think it's 26 grand. 
And because I already have a student loan, because I have a degree, it just goes alongside that. And it's just proper simple. And I don't think, well, I didn't know anything about that. I didn't know that was a thing. So I think that's very it's useful information that I think you should look into if you want to do a personal training course or any other kind of course, an advanced learning loan. Hey Google, play Ain't Always Pretty. Obviously a big thing that's happened this week is the fact that Jogvlog is no more and it makes me quite sad because I love Jogvlog but it doesn't really go with future plans and what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm not just doing running content, I'm doing all kinds of fitness content so I wanted to change the name and I wanted to kind of like make a community brand kind of thing going forward so that when I am qualified that can be like the thing that it's called. I'm just so bad at explaining things. Basically, what's your opinion on this? Isabel's Fitness Hub. I don't mean the logo, that was just kind of like an example of the kind of thing I'm going for, but I wanted to change it to something that was kind of like community based. The alarm's going off. IFH. They're also my initials, and that's kind of where the name came from. Isabel's Fitness Hub. IFH. I think it works. I also did a brutal leg workout earlier this week. I started off by doing some jumping Bulgarian split squats. That went onto some pistol squats, and I felt confident, so I tried to do them unsupported, and it, went, it actually went better than I thought it was going to go, but it still didn't go very well. Then I did a 10 minute AMRAP and that was like jumping squats, lunges, squats and that hurt. And then I finished off by doing a hill workout on the bike, which was 30 seconds with resistance, 60 seconds, no resistance, six times. And after doing like a 10 minute AMRAP, as well as some strength training, that hurt. That was a brutal finisher and I struggled to walk throughout the rest of the day. But I can tell I'm getting stronger because it didn't hurt as much the next few days. So this is this is a brutal leg workout at home. All the, that alarm's going off again. This is my brutal leg workout. You know, when you wish that you hadn't started something, that bodyweight leg workout was hard. But now it's time to do a hill workout on the bike. So it's 30 seconds with resistance, a second recovery at light resistance. And we repeat that six times or as many times as I can before my legs just feel like they would flop off, drop off. So. Fitness is great, but like, why Why do we do it to ourselves? Why do we make ourselves feel like this? Like, I know tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to walk, but at least I know I've done a good workout.
Ow. Oh. oh. Goodbye, jog folk. <laughs> like, subscribe. And do more of what makes you happy.